Hi everyone, in this video I'll show you the new language interpretation available in Microsoft Teams. This new capability will allow you to deliver your session in Microsoft Teams in multiple languages. This is very useful if you have a multi-ethnic audience. So you can pick the main language, which could be English for example, and then you can select various interpreters, which will deliver the session in other languages like Spanish, German, Italian and so on. And the audience can select the proper language. So you can use webinar or normal Microsoft Teams meeting. Let me show you how it works, this new great capability. Let's go. Here I am in a Microsoft Teams. In order to see the new experience, I am going to create a new team here so we can see how to turn on language interpretation. So once you find the slot on your calendar using, uh, I'm using here the new calendar experience, you can invite users and let's do that. All right, let's start to invite all my colleagues, Diego Siciliani, and I'm going to invite Elizabeth Green. All right, we have all users invited. We have several rules here. We are going to have two interpreters. We have the main speaker and then just one attendee. So we cover all perspectives. Now let's hit the button on meeting options because this is the place where you can, you can turn on language interpretation. So you can find this option under rules. So you can immediately click there to see enable language interpretation. Turn on this toggle button and what you are going to see is a new experience here. Now you can select all users that you are invited in the meeting. It means that I can define the interpreter for this meeting which will be Sandra. And then you have two drop downs here. You have to pick the original language or the main language in this case, which would be English. And then the language which the interpreter will translate and deliver the session to the audience. So in this case, Sandra will translate in Spanish, starting from the English. And you can see here also a double arrows because it means that the audience, the speaking Spanish audience, can raise some question. Of course, they will speak and talk in Spanish to Sandra, the interpreter, and Sandra is able to translate back in English to the main speaker in order to get the answer. So this is how it works. Now let me go and let me select a second interpreter, Adele Vance. Again, we have to pick the original language, which is English. So let me search for English. English is here. So let's go for the language that it's going to be used and translated. It is Italian. There you go. Moreover, you can add additional interpreters if you want, but it's fine to have this set up. Let's hit the button apply. And now this, this language interpretation is set up. Let's hit again the apply button and now it's set up. All right, we are now ready to send this meeting invitation. You are going to have the same experience if you go for webinar of course. Okay, it's time to run this meeting and let's see every perspective in this uh, new capability. Here I am ready to join the meeting as a normal attendee. So let's join this meeting and the first time that you open the meeting you have to select the interpretation language. So here I don't want to follow the language in English, I'm going to hear the session in Spanish.
Pizza lovers. Hello everyone and welcome to today's delicious exciting session. Hola a todos y bienvenidos a esta sesión tan deliciosa como emocionante. Cómo cocinar la mejor pizza de la historia. Ya seas un chef casero con experiencia o simplemente alguien que art and science of pizza making. Una buena porción. Estás en el lugar correcto. Hoy nos sumergiremos en el arte y la ciencia de hacer pizza. Desde cómo preparar la masa perfecta hasta elegir los ingredientes más sabrosos y dominar el horneado. Te llevarás consejos, trucos y probablemente un antojo irresistible. Así que ponte el delantal, abre el apetito y subamos la temperatura. What do you think about the new language interpretation in Microsoft Teams? It's useful or not? Let me know in the comment down below. And if you want to see more video like this one, write teams in the comments. I will follow up with more video about this topic. I hope to see you next time.